Hi, my name is Pavan Sukhdev. I am the study leader of TEEB. Uh, it's a project called The Economics of Ecosystems and Biodiversity. TEEB was inspired by the Stern Review on Climate Change and tried uh, very early on to recognize that just as in the case of climate, there was a strong economic case to be made for early action against climate change. So also, there should be an economic case represented on biodiversity. Of course, the big challenge here is that biodiversity is not straightforward. It is about local public benefits, it's about regional public benefits and global public goods. And equally, biodiversity is, is not straightforward because it is about the living fabric of this planet. The underlying science is by no means certain, so it does take a bit of effort working out the economics that relate to that science. Having said that, it is important for us to do this because the economic invisibility of nature the economic invisibility of the ecosystem services, be it prov providing fresh water or providing nutrients or providing pollination, or be it regulating climates or regulating so that we prevent the costs of losses of floods and droughts. All of these do have economic value and impacts. And if we ignore these impacts, then we will end up making trade-off choices, which do nothing more than hurt society, reduce human well-being, and also hurt the environment. Of course, business is not a bystander in this whole thing. In fact, business is a key participant. Recent studies have indicated that the total size of externalities, in other words, the cost to the society of business as usual, are so huge that they are a few percentage points of the global economy. And at the same time, business is a very important participant in the, the economy of today. More than two-thirds of the economy, more than that much of the employment that is generated by the economy. And of course, the taxes of business finance governments. So here we have it, a situation where without the engagement of business in reducing the economic invisibility of nature, there would be no solution to this problem. And that is why TEEB for Business, which is the recent publication that TEEB brought out, is an important milestone in creating the rationale for the changes that we seek. In TEEB for Business, we have argued that of course that there are costs, externalities that are significant, but at the same time there are opportunities associated with these, just as there are costs on climate, so there are opportunities in doing business in a way that is cheap on climate. There are energy savings to be had, there are new markets to be explored, be it in, in uh, carbon or in reduced emissions from deforestation. And we have also argued that it is important for business to start recognizing its impact on the global ecological commons, in other words, its impact on freshwater, on forests, on biodiversity, and of course on carbon, which already is a well-advanced conversation. By recognizing these impacts and by assigning dollar values to these impacts, it should be possible for business leaders to understand and weigh up what is their business's impact on society in economic terms, and also then perhaps to make better decisions. After all, if we knew that the costs of uh, an oil spill for the sake of argument were as significant in ecological terms as it turns out to be and if we had weighed that on the scales then perhaps the investment in defensive technological devices would not have been such a difficult choice. T for Business is a vital toolkit in the task that confronts us which is to ensure that in not assigning values to the ecosystem services that we receive from nature we actually help in accelerating their loss. I hope that business leaders will step forward and create net positive impacts on biodiversity, not just no net loss, but net positive impacts, and design their business strategies in a way that is responsible towards their shareholders, but also towards their wider stakeholders, which includes governments and people and all of us for generations to come.